Welcome to the electronic observations training video for all inpatient wards. The aim of this video is to demonstrate how to record patient observations using the electronic form in Meditech. By the end of this video, you should feel able to use electronic observations or EOBS in your daily nursing care. Here is a step-by-step -step guide to completing EOBS. Firstly, open Meditech and click on the PCS status board. From the next menu, click on any location and select the appropriate ward. For the purposes of this video, Sitwell has been selected. Select the appropriate patient by clicking in the left-hand column next to the patient's name. For the purposes of training, George Washington will be used. If an observation chart is not already in use, it will need to be added. Click on Add at the bottom of the screen. In the search box, type in OBS and click on the observations line in the box below. Save the form. If completing observations just before the scheduled time, click on the clock. If completing after the scheduled time or a one-off set, click on now. Never click on a red time. At the bottom of the screen, click on document. Any previously recorded observations will be displayed in the first section of the form. Starting with temperature, begin to enter the patient's observations. Anything greyed out doesn't need completing. If at any time you enter a value which is physiologically impossible, for example a heart rate of 450, a pop-up menu will appear warning you of the error, and you won't be able to continue until the correct value is inserted. When entering SATs, remember to select the appropriate oxygen delivery system and state the amount of oxygen being delivered to the patient. For example, nasal cannula will require the oxygen rate in litres and jury valves in percentages. Urine output. If a patient is on a fluid balance chart, you need to document what they have passed in the last hour as per MUSE policy. If a patient is not on a fluid balance chart, Please ask the patient if they have passed urine in the last six hours and document appropriately. Blood sugar is not mandatory. Entering conscious level will generate the total MUSE score. All fields used to calculate a MUSE score must be completed. At this point, a pop-up will appear asking you to select the observation frequency. However, this section of the form does not communicate with the status board. Observations will need to be scheduled once the form has been saved. Complete the nausea, pain and sedation sections. Only write in the comments box after all sections have been completed and document action taken if a patient triggers on muse. All comments need to be related to the observations taken. For example, the patient has a low but acceptable SATS and is known COPD. SATS are normal for patient and therefore no further escalation required. If a patient has triggered, please follow the escalation pop-up. After informing the nurse in charge, please enter their surname in the box and press enter. The system will not allow you to move on without documenting this. Now save the document. The observations now need to be scheduled. Click in the observations line under the icon of a clipboard and select the appropriate time. Return to the status board and check the observations are scheduled correctly. If a patient with a high temperature has their temperature rechecked 30 minutes later, this can be recorded in the observation form. Select observations from the work list and click on view edit. The last set of completed observations will be displayed. The new temperature can be written in the comments box. If something has been inputted incorrectly and the document has been saved, it can be edited by clicking on the word observation and click on view edit. Only the person who had initially completed the observations can edit. If this is not possible, for example the person is no longer present, please contact IT. To see a trend in the patient's observations whilst in work list, click on vital signs in the right hand column. This will display the recorded observations and to see in graph form, click on graph vitals. If on status board, click on the icon in the vital signs column 
and this will produce the same result. In order to complete lying and standing blood pressures, enter the lying blood pressure as part of the standard set of observations. Go back into the OBS document using the View Edit tab and enter the subsequent standing blood pressures and the time taken in the comments box.